As you can imagine, I have many mixed emotions today. They go back and forth between happiness and sadness. I am honored to be here as Governor Baker's guest, as are my parents, Sam and Nancy DeMarco. They loved Laura like a daughter. And Amber Levis, our niece, uh, who is up from New York City today to join us and will be coming to Harvard this fall. I'm, I'm proud of you. Governor, I am so grateful, so grateful to you for, for making Laura's Law an actual law today. For so long we've been talking about it as just a bill. I'm grateful that every single member of the state legislature, from the Senate President to the Speaker of the House, the old one and the new one, from majority to minority leaders, they all supported Laura's Law in spite of all the hurdles that coronavirus has handed us. It took nearly two years to get here. I wasn't sure we'd even reach this day. But in the end, Laura's Law passed unanimously. In the end, everyone saw how good and pure a bill this is, how essential it is, and how extremely important it was to honor the life of a young, beautiful woman who died so tragically and so unnecessarily. Laura could have been any one of us. And now, because of Laura's law, every one of us will be helped. And for some, maybe even their lives will be saved. I hope very much that when the pandemic is over and standards for signage, for lighting, for security monitoring of doors at every emergency room, when those standards are implemented, that Massachusetts will, will lead the country in taking the worry out of whether you'll be able to find and get inside an emergency room when you rush to a hospital. Since Laura's story came out in the Boston Globe, uh, Losing Laura, that I wrote, I have heard so many stories, too many stories, from people all over about how confusing hospitals can be. I think they can be by their very nature. And I think they also can be because safety failures can just creep up and become part of the wallpaper that people don't even see anymore. My hope is that this is the first of many Laura's laws across many states, maybe every state. In closing, I would like to thank our bill sponsors, Senator Pat Jalen, who is here today as well, and Representative Christine Barber, who unfortunately is not here because she's being safe and obeying uh, COVID uh, exposure protocols. I also want to thank their staffs, Vicki Halal, Matt Hartman, and Nora Bent. All of these people could not have been more professional to me or more caring as they held my hand through the long and sometimes frustrating process of trying to get a bill signed into law. Representative Marjorie Decker, I want to thank you for your assistance too. Lastly, there's Laura. What would she say today? Knowing her and how patience was not her strongest suit, probably it's about freaking time this happened. But also, I think she would say, I'm glad I didn't die for no reason. I'm glad that through my death, other people's lives will one day be saved. And you know, that makes me feel pretty great.